is Inside Out, where we are helping you transform soul, body, and image. Today's topic is happiness. A wonderful topic, one of my favorites. I love to be happy, as I'm sure we all do. Today joining us, we have Paul Reynolds, a gentleman who became an orphan at 13, lost his entire family, went through quite the process of, of foster care, of living with somebody who took your money, and went from that situation to getting a medal at the White House, the Ronald Reagan Gold Medal, presented by Bush himself. Uh, some other accomplishments you've had, over 127 Broadway shows. So we want to know, how That's did you go amazing. from this orphan, from this person who could be so discouraged, so defeated, we see many people turning to things like substance abuse, mm -hmm. depression, to really succeeding in your life? I, I, I'm listening to you now and I'm thinking of something. Um, so many people, uh, no matter, they, they kind of pull against you. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of say, oh, he's rolling the dice, he's not going to make it. And I heard that several times from family members who didn't want to take me in I'm as a sure. little boy. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be a problem. And I decided that w was not a problem to anybody. Um, I decided my only problem was not accomplishing enough. Yeah. Uh, so today, it's the same thing with today. Uh, going, losing a family, it's really, really um, a very traumatic for any young person. Uh, but I think far greater than that was I never thought I'd, I'd outlive one of my children. My oldest daughter passed away. Wow. And I never thought that that would ever happen. Uh, and as I was uh, in the hospital from deadly uh, lymphoma, given four months to live, six months to live twice. Wait, no, no, hold on. You just said not only did you have these traumatic experiences as a young boy, which you overcame getting a medal at the White House, you also lost a child yourself and have battled cancer twice. Did I hear that right? Twice. Wow. And uh, as a matter of fact, on my, on my phone, um, it has a message from my daughter two weeks before she passed. Mm. Uh, and she was more worried about me in the hospital doing bone marrow and stem cells. And, but six days after I got out of the hospital, I was, went to hospice for her. So uh, th things have happened in the, in the, in the life. Mm -hmm. um, my, my point for me personally is to get up and get going and put my boots on in the morning, go to work. So and if they're not the type to, sorry, excuse me, to sit back and just, and just let life roll all over and you. I'm, and you, I'm not, and many are like that. It. Sure. Um, you've got I probably to would pick have up given and move up. on. I probably would have just thrown my hands up in the air and said, I'm done. I mean, how much more death? Can a person, um, you know, go through in their life? The whole, uh, the whole Ronald Reagan uh, thing was mm -hmm. very, very interesting. It was just so nice uh, meeting President Bush. I learned he was an outright gentleman, mm -hmm. and uh, I, my wife even gave him a kiss on the cheek, and he, she wiped the <laughs> lipstick off, and right. uh, he took, a, he, we took Are a you nice allowed picture. To do that? Can you kiss the president of the United States? I didn't know that. Well, <laughs> she did. She, she took me the, to her country's White House, yeah. and her president kissed me on both cheeks. Oh, okay. So it was really kind of a, a really really fun time uh, being there with President Bush and uh, having an opportunity to meet him. I'm sure. Uh, and I learned a lot about him in, in the short time that I was with him. So tell us, if you were to give somebody out there that's listening, somebody is struggling with despair, discouragement, maybe they've had some loss in their life, maybe they're even struggling with a disease like you struggle with cancer, what would be the one tip or piece of advice that you would give them about finding happiness, about creating joy in their journey, rather than letting those stumbling blocks defeat them? That's a super question. Uh, I, I learned early on that if I allowed a certain type of individual in my life, then that individual will have some um, uh, possibility of pulling me down. Mm. And I remember when I was going through my life-threatening thing, uh, the doctor said, always be around positive people. I love that. And be around people that, mm -hmm. that are so positive that it oozes from their very soul. So I decided that uh, even on Facebook, I would, I would basically delete the negative statements mm. and I wanted to be around positive people all the time. Yeah. Uh, and it gave me a really good feeling because I feel that I could even help someone that's even positive and feeling great. I think I could help them even feel better. Sure, well, absolutely. And what's that one saying? You, you, you become like the, the five, the five people, closest what is that? people that are around you. Yes, wow. absolutely. Your five closest friends. Yes, I totally believe that. I am very, very careful who I let in my circle. Very careful. 
because there's more takers than givers. So I've Paul, oh, it, it is you know so what I mean? true. And Paul, today now you are giving. It's interesting you bring mm -hmm. up there are more takers than givers. You've surrounded yourself with positive people. So we're going to hear more about what you're doing here in, in a minute. But tell us just briefly, how are you giving back? Uh, I recognize early on that people gave a lot to me uh, in, in terms of support and, and things like that and love, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. was very, very important. So I literally got on my knees one day and I said, what should I do? And it come to me literally in 10 seconds what I should do. So what, I want, what I'm doing and can continue to do is we are going to celebrate and are celebrating people's lives for their accomplishments. And that doesn't mean only individuals. It means organizations. It means athletic teams, yeah. things like that. I love that. Celebrating people for their accomplishments. And coming up, we're going to hear from a lady who is on a mission to create 100 Days of Happy. Can't wait to hear more from Paul wow. and from our special guests coming up next. A redhead <gasps> staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. 